Parents and OCD and teenagers, how would you get a teenager to sit in a contaminated chair? Hi, I'm Julie and I now make videos on helping and supporting other parents to try and tackle OCD in children, particularly contamination OCD, because I've actually been where you are and I fortunately come out the other side. So with that said, how would you get a child to eventually sit on a chair that they deem contaminated? Well, first of all, I just want to stress, this won't be a quick fix and it won't be an easy fix. But if you stay consistent with treatment and with therapy, you will actually eventually get your child to sit on that chair. The first part of the process is to break it up into tiny, tiny steps and agree this with your child. Agree how you're eventually going to get them to sit on this chair. Now, let's suppose it might even be that the whole room is contaminated, in which case you'd have to work up to them even stepping inside the room. So you, it might be that you would want to get them the first week of therapy, for example, could be to get them to stand outside the room and just get them to stand outside. It could start with one second, then build it up to two, three, four, five, six, and just build it up so they're getting used to feeling uncomfortable. Then it might be the next part of therapy might be just to take one step into the room. It could just be stepping and straight back out and then build into stepping in, staying there for one second, 10 seconds, 30 seconds and building up from there. Then you might take two steps in and so forth till you get to the chair itself. And again, you would build chair, a therapy in the chair up in exactly the same way. You would get them to maybe sit on there, get straight back up, sit on there for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. And it might be that when you first do it, they can actually use wipes to wipe themselves down. But then once they sit on the chair and using wipes, the next part of the process would probably be then to actually eliminate wiping down. And again, you would build up to that gradually by just saying that like, you can use three wipes this time, then you've got to reduce it to two wipes, then no wipes. And that is really, in a nutshell, how you would get a, teen a teenager with OCD to sit in a contaminated chair. Hope that's helped. As ever, if you need any further help and advice on this, just pop a comment into the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I make lots of videos on this topic. Alright, so thanks for watching my video on parents and a teenager with OCD. Hope it's helped.